Morning, everybody. This is John Barker with PTW Solutions. Hope everyone's week is off to a fantastic start. Uh, today, I wanted to do a short presentation for a new local company. As you know, uh, PTW likes to keep it local, especially here in Wilmington, North Carolina. Uh, but it, it, uh, it's important to, to do that for the uh, health and um, economic viability of uh, local communities. So remember that next time you're making a purchasing decision. Uh, anywho, so today uh, I met a new friend and I'm making a video for her. She is registered in SAM.gov, which is what we're looking at right here. And uh, I was going to show how that you can do specific searches uh, under your registered NACE codes. Now, just because you're registered in NACE codes, you definitely should not limit your searches for that. But I wanted to uh, demonstrate uh, how easy it can be um, to do your own searches and have them emailed to you at uh, whatever frequency you're looking for. So uh, we're going to get into it. So the biggest thing is to select the right domain. If you've been working with SAM.gov for any length of time, you probably have your own thoughts, which I'd be happy to uh, discuss with you anytime. Uh, but you'll notice that it's kind of buggy and clunky. And uh, I found that it helps if you are looking in the right domain. So uh, today we're looking for contract opportunities. So you select that domain. Then we're going to go down here. So a lot of times I, I prefer to search by keywords, depending on what your uh, core capabilities are. You may have several of them that uh, you would want to punch in there and you don't want to limit your search. But we're going to do just an easy one today for uh, it's under product and service information, product or service code, PSC code, uh, and NACE code. Uh, so we're looking for, let me get my little cheat sheet, which is on my other screen here. So we're going to look for 541611. And we are going to look for both of these 61110, Office Administrative Services. Okay, so we have two NACE codes that are punched in here. And we have 631 results. So let's take a quick look at some of these. We got some dates. We got notice types. Notice types. All right. So for those unfamiliar with notice types, these are uh, very important um, selections here. So it helps you determine the phase of procurement that we're in. Um, I'm a big proponent and believer in thinking long term and going after sources sought and pre-solicitations in particular. And what these are, are they are uh, market research requests from contracting officers. Uh, responding to these, I believe, represents your best chances of success. Uh, the reason being is they're, they provide opportunities to um, get in front of those potential customers before the active solicitation phase. Also, it helps kind of uh swap some information with those folks and, and potentially helps your company properly position for those opportunities when they come out so what the government does in the source of salt and pre-solicitations they're looking for industry input in particular from small businesses and they will use that to kind of help shape the further solicitation we're also going to add the combined synopsis and solicitation and then solicitation as well. All right. So now we went from 631, I believe, to 108 when we specified uh, the four notice types. So, and again, you can select your own. You can select your own NACE code, key codes, all of those things. One thing that you can do is you can save your search, which is um, helpful. Uh, so you'll, again, let me back up a little bit. You'll need to have your own SAM.gov login information to do that. Now, for this person that this video is created for, she already has that one. So uh, it should look exactly the same for you. Um, and so we want to save that search. And I always, how do I, let's see. All right, so we got our responses um there's other ways you can kind of carve out these uh, selections for your specific set of size uh, place performance i think is an important consideration as well for a lot of companies in particular starting off i like to think local again so look at you know your um your county or any federal facilities within your vicinity is a good starting point 
Um, all right, so we've saved this. Let's just save this as 54, 541611. All right, let's save that. And where is the, I know there's a way to email this to myself because I'm getting them uh, for a massive search for all the state of North Carolina opportunities. Data services, request notifications, workspace. Let's look at workspace here. Apologize for that background noise. I have a busted fan in my computer. Um, it's been, uh, so anyway, I get that fixed at some point. Okay, okay. So, um, mm -mm -mm -mm. I said I've done this before. I should have taped it when I did it so I would know exactly how to do it and not embarrass myself like I'm doing right now. But, uh, say la vie. Okay, so um, where did our search go? Come on, save search. We'll go back to save searches. Okay, so this is the one I just created. NC, current NC ops. This is the one. All right, it's actions. All right, duplicate, delete, notify, download. What happens if we notify this? That doesn't seem to do much. Edit name, duplicate, stop, notify. Huh. I wonder if actions, actions, current NC ops. This is the one that I get. Okay, so I it is notifying me. So I think that's all you got to do is just go and select this notify because this current NC ops is one that I'm getting um, in my emails. 